What's good, YouTube? It's me. Um, yeah, it's hey, YouTube. It's me. Who am I in my ass? YouTube, it's me. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Anthony. And for those of you who do know who I am, hey, and thanks for checking out my This is my first video, and yeah, I'm super excited about this. So, what do I want to talk about? So this first video, just know that this is take two because I didn't have my motherfucking earrings in. Yes, they're that important to me. And then in the middle of my mother video, the garbage truck decides to come. Really? So, yeah, part two. Hey YouTube, what's good YouTube? It's me, Anna. And I don't know what my opening's gonna be, but I know my name's gonna be like all about, all about Anna, okay? All about me, and then like, you're gonna be the crazy people in my life, we're gonna do story times, we're gonna do all of that, right? So, yeah, I really hope you guys are down for all this. This first video, because I kid you not, the first video is like 20 something minutes. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna try to make this a lot faster. I'm gonna get some water. You know, you gotta stay hydrated. But, so yeah, the first video is 20 minutes. Let's make this fast. So, what I'm gonna do is give you all a gist of my life, let like, you know who I am and what's in store. So, let's give all the childhood trauma. I had a crazy ass life, okay? A crazy ass childhood. I went through a lot. So, yeah. Trauma. <laughs> made me who I am today. So that happened. Let's start with like, I guess we'll start in like junior high. I lived in like a predominantly white area, very preppy and went to like the same element, elementary and then went to junior high with these kids. I always knew like I, they weren't my kind of people, you know? And not in a rude way, they just, like I said, childhood trauma. I went through shit. They didn't go through shit. They was like babied and spoon fed with like a gold spoon. Yeah, not me. So, um, they weren't my type of people. I had friends, but like, it was like, mm, wasn't really that cool with people. And then, um, like eighth grade. Was it eighth or was it? I don't know. Uh, it was ninth. It was ninth because I, when I went back to school, my older sister wasn't there. So ninth grade, um, I had to go to like a charter private school, and when I went to that school is when I got like I got some fucking color in my life. Like let's put it that way. Like I got some fucking color in my life. I got some like real people. Like because the um, area of my other school was like in a more like I don't know if y'all. If you're from Utah, the school was in West Valley. <laughs> um, so it was definitely more people, like it was more color, like it was, it was better, I guess you could say, like not in a roommate, I'm half white, love my white people, but it just, it felt so much better. And then in that like six months I went to that school, I remember like I was hanging out with my best friend a lot, Kiana. I love you. Um, so yeah, I was hanging out with her a lot, and in this time frame, I started doing, I feel like I was kind of doing it before, like at my old school, like I, I was just a shit talker. Like, I was a shit talker. I love stirring the pot, I, I love drama. <laughs> I love drama. <laughs> it was like not good, you guys, it was like, I loved it and my best friend loved it and in that time I was going to that school I started like doing the, it was like putting people on blast. What's a blast you might ask? Um, it's when I put your all your fucking personal information on Facebook and talk shit. What the fuck was I going through? So yeah, I did that a lot. Like a lot. Like Maybe I could find some screenshots of my own status because I have this one Facebook. It's not my real name on it because again, I was a bad ass kid. I wasn't allowed to have Facebook because I ran my mouth. So yeah. Okay, so I had to turn on my air because I'm standing in front of this fucking sun and it's making me hot, okay? So anyways, yeah, Facebook was a big ass deal. 
like I like to say like 2013, 14, 15, it was just like the go-to social media, <laughs> like honestly. So blah, 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 messing with a bunch of stuff. Another reason me and my best friend got thick was because, like I said, we like to run our mouths a lot, a lot. And yes, guys, me, look, me, I used to fight. Yes, you're looking at me like, no, you didn't. You did not used to fight. I'm telling you, <laughs> people hated me and my best friend. Like, we had everyone wanting to fight us. I kid you not. Like, we would go everywhere and it was just like a fight, a brawl. Like, and he was like, no, no, this did not happen. Yeah, we did that, and again, more followers. It just kept coming. Talked to these two girls, kept coming. Made my videos, kept coming. So that's kind of like how I would guess, per se, a lot of stuff started. Just little videos, arguments. I'm not gonna say which. <laughs> girls, and yeah, like, it just happened so fast. Like, I kid you not, it was one summer. Like, I think it was like, what was it? Me turning 15 going into 16? Yeah, because I was going to be a junior. Like, that is that summer is when it took off. Like, 2013 going into 14? Pretty sure 2013 going into 14, but that was the summer. different stuff that like made my fame better. Like we started doing music videos, we started doing photo shoots, I started modeling clothes for people. Like so I started getting bigger. At the end of 2013, when I, like I'm probably at like a hundred thousand followers by now. Like I'm it was it was getting up there. Um on Twitter I get a message from a guy and what made me reply, I don't know. God's plan. I don't fucking know. So um, we started talking, and I literally remember I was at like my friend Dolly's, and he was at a Beyonce concert, and I fucking love Beyonce. I'm queen. I love her, and he like sent me a jacket, like, like in my like thinking back at it, he just like I think I was just like a big deal at the time, so I think he was like he wanted me, he got me, <laughs> but. Sent me that, and then I remember like my friends were like, "What the fuck? Like, he's really sending you shit." And then cause we're 15, 15, 16. I don't remember, but 15, 16, and then he just did little things. Like one time he sent me a picture of his credit cards, and I was like, "Oh, you got money, money, you got money, okay." So yeah, he like started doing shit like that, and then this was like the big one. He sent me a phone case. I, just because he had an extra phone case, and I was like, oh, at the time, so this is this crazy time to pass. It, I, it was an iPhone 5 phone case, and I had an iPhone 4, so it didn't fit my phone. I'm like, oh, doesn't fit, whatever. Get real. You know what he fucking did? He sent me a brand new iPhone 5. So, again, 15. What the fuck? You're, you're thinking this shit is fucking dope, right? You're like, I can, I, I can fuck with this, I'm like, he won me over with that shit. And then, long story short, four years, yes, four fucking years I was talking to this guy. Um, we're gonna call him New York, that's what everyone seems to call him. He lived in New York. So, yeah, he sent me that phone, long story short, that January, February 2014, my sister went out to New York with me because my mom wasn't going to let me go by myself. And I met him and it, it was, it was interesting. Come visit me. And just disclaimer, not some sugar daddy. He was actually younger than me, so sugar baby? I don't know. <laughs> 
But yeah, so that happened and he was like, I wanna see you. My mom's like, what the fuck? Yeah, no. I begged her. I had to end up taking my older sister with me. Best thing ever, best experience with her. Um, met him, yada, yada, yada. We don't got that much time because this will be a different story time. But long story short, for just four mother fucking years, we talked. Okay, so, and then, I was like turning nine, like I'm telling you, like it was four years, like I was turning 19, 20. Deep down, I feel like it's, like I knew like it wasn't what I wanted, but I dealt with it. Again, I kid, he gave me the world and some, and I appreciate everything he ever did for me. But as you get older, you realize like, cause again, like he made me when I was a kid, like as you get older, you realize, okay, maybe this isn't what I want. And so like, as I was turning like nine, I think it was like 19, 20-ish. Um, we just started fighting a lot about stupid shit. He wanted me to move out there. Um, I I didn't want to move to New York. I, I didn't think it was for me. And actually, like looking back at it, like looking back at it now, I know it wasn't for me. You know, it was not. It was not in the plan of my life. So that happened, and we started fighting just a bunch, just bunch of. Bunch of just stupid stuff all the time. And I think it was like me trying to make this kid break up with me. I used to tell this kid I wasn't happy constantly. And just fighting, like I remember so fucking exhausting. And it was just like, ugh. And then he was in California, I literally remember, because this was like the end, with his bitch ass friend. Ho, oh, if you watching this, you a bitch. You a bitch, bitch. I don't like you. He was with his bitch ass friend. You know, you know your man's friends are always bitches. They bitches. <laughs> so he was with his bitch ass friend and they were in California. This bitch thought she was some fucking like photographer or whatever the fuck she thought she was. And he just started like running lip. <laughs> running lip and I'm like, bro, like this ain't you. Like I've known you for years. Like who are you? And just like talking crazy to me and I'm not gonna put up with that. I'm already ready to leave this relationship, right? So that's all it took. It was actually, and then I blocked him. That's blah, blah. that's all it took. And then I blocked him. And it was like the longest time I blocked him. It was for a while. And yeah, I blocked him. And it was for a day. And then we kind of like made up. And then I remember he got back to New York because he was in California. We got back to New York. And we were good. And you guys, I'm a motherfucking Gemini. To the T. I got two personalities. One, one thing is, will tick me the fuck off. And I literally remember, like, I don't, we were just talking, I remember driving my car, um, my phone was on, my passenger seat on FaceTime, we were talking, and in my head, like, a switch just went off, like, I don't forgive you. I don't forgive you for how you treated me while you were in California. That was it. I was like, I don't forgive you. So... I spazzed the fuck out and we started fighting and I remember like he was so confused like what are we fighting about and again to me I was supposed to move out there in my head like I lived like a few like time passed and I think it was me not wanting to move out there so I just was trying to fight with him so I literally remember he was like there was two things because I remember saying I remember the shit I remember saying it on FaceTime like this mother fucker he said two things to me he was like maybe we're rushing things was the first thing maybe we're rushing things we've been together four motherfucking years what do you mean rushing what bro i barely want to move in with you now we say we rushing it oh okay i remember that <laughs> and then he said because you guys remember i've been trying to tell him i want to break all he had to say was maybe we need a break oh a break you want a break I'll, I'll give you a break for show for show. So I gave him that break. Blocked him on everything down to his finsta. And you know when you break up with someone, he should have got a hold of me by email. <laughs> so he, he should have found out, but he didn't. So again, that was weird. That's the end of that. But yeah, moved on with my life. Remember, giving me everything. 
one week, what, not even a week, I would say four days after we stopped talking, I was working at the Sephora warehouse. Yes, the Sephora fucking warehouse. So a warehouse work. Me, yes. So I was doing that shit. I think I did it for like a month or so. My best friend Keanu started working there with me. Um, yeah, I did that and then stopped working there. Another story time, I'm telling you guys, I got stories for y'all. My best friend got fired, so I stopped working there. And I went to the job I work at now, not to say names, but um, it is a call center and I have been there ever since. And yeah, like the last year and a half, because it was the end of 2017. So the last like year and a half has been a trip, okay? This is my place. This is what the fuck I worked for, you know? And yeah, I'm so excited about where I am in life. In the last year and a half, in March 2018, so a few months after me and my ex broke up, let me get some water. I talk for a fucking ride. I'm gonna talk after this all day, but um, I met a guy in March 2018, end of March 2018. His name's Braxton. You guys will meet him someday, but I met him and yeah, I've been with him. We talked for like a year just to see how everything would work out. I went. I got a place with my sister in 2018, and then, um, you know, our lease is ending. Me and him decided it was time to get a place together, so we got this place. I'll give you guys a, I'll, I'll do a house tour, like I'm telling you, I got videos for y'all, okay? So, yeah, um, but yeah, house tour. Like I said, I got videos for y'all for days. I'm So many ideas. I wanna do like talk shows or like, kinda like podcast type things with like, I got some, Fun ass people. <laughs> my, my best friend's crazy. My little sister's crazy. My mom's crazy. My dad's crazy. My boyfriend is crazy. Okay? <laughs> we all have different outlets on everything. So that's another thing. I want to do little talk things about the situation. I got story times. We're going to do challenges. We'll do tours. We'll do. I was even thinking, like, my friend Kiki, she's going to make a video. And I was thinking maybe, like, we'll do a cooking night one night. We'll do, like, an arts. Like, you know, we'll do, we'll do fun stuff. We'll do, like, I don't know, I have so many ideas, let's just say there. I have so many ideas in my head and I'm so happy to finally do this. So I'm pretty sure like the place I'm in, I'm ready to give my all and I'm ready to get back on this. And I know and I know y'all missed me and I know y'all missed my videos and I know you missed this face and yeah. So subscribe and I, I think my day's gonna, I'm gonna try to make my day like Sunday when I post videos, but Cause I'm gonna be on top of this. Y'all better bug me, okay? Y'all better bug me. So yeah. Again, my name's Anthony, and this is all about Ant. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.